Hey, I'm Kerry Summers, uh, President of the Museum of the Bible, and we're standing in what's called the impact floor. This is the impact of the Bible on America and impact the Bible globally. The Museum of the Bible is uh, 430,000 square feet. It's, uh, I think, the third largest museum in Washington, D.C. But it's also the largest museum of its kind in the world. And we focus on three major areas, the impact of the Bible, the narrative or the stories of the Bible, and the history of the Bible. Now with that, we have uh, seven floors that are open to the public. Uh, we have the Vatican uh, here involved with the Vatican Museum, Vatican Library. They have their own space. We have the Israel Antiquity Authority here uh, with their own space and many, many items. We also have many visiting exhibits that come in. But when you say every day, uh, you know, I'm going to come uh, next year, what could I expect to be there? Well, these three floors I mentioned, impact, narrative, and history, those items are somewhat stationary. They do rotate out. <clears throat> but they're also the core of what we do as a museum and other things that we take on in the way of traveling exhibit and curriculum and other things. We put them all under those three umbrellas. The Bible's a big story and uh, you can take it a thousand different roads out of it. And uh, we're non-sectarian, which means we're just telling the story of the Bible, let the Bible stand on its own two feet. The museum uh, is unlike many, it's really a, a unique museum unto itself because we've taken a very highly thematic approach so that not only are there great items here, <clears throat> but we're finding people really have as much, if not more so, interest in the story surrounding that time period or, or that person that we're talking about, more so than the item itself. Uh, you know, you might have a great Latin medieval manuscript. There's only so many people can read it. There's only so many how much time you can spend looking at it, but there's a wealth of time that you can understand the story and the cultural and the historical or political setting of the day, which has shaped history. So we have focused uh, on items. We have 3,100 on the exhibit here, 3,100 items, but the real focus deals with those stories. And uh, we spent uh, with over 100 academics over almost four years putting this together. And that was one of their key roles was let's make sure we get the stories correct, accurate, and uh, then let's share them to the public in a very, very creative way in highly thematic settings. So that's our summary of the Museum of the Bible.